Welcome back. We're back. Shit went down yesterday. Major shit went down. It was almost as bad as my relationship status. Okay, is that not this entire not fucking game? That one game? just fucking hurts, though. God damn it, cards against humanity. You hurt God us. God damn it. It's hurtful because it's true. It's funny in Halo, but it's hurtful in Osago <laughs> Academy. It's, it's hurtful because this game is going downhill fast. Hey, man. She just needs a okay. hug. Okay. I woke to my alarm be- beeping, feeling only dread of the hours to come. After the nightmare that was the ice cream incident yesterday, I never wanted to take another step out of my room. Mm-hmm. I curled up inside my, well, my blanket. <laughs> as my alarm went off, it was only second day of school, and I felt the same as I did every morning at home. My, of course, was already up, and I could hear a hair straightener clap every f- shut every few seconds from across the room. Wow, my really is me. <laughs> I felt bad about letting the alarm go off for so long, so I slid my hand out of the cover to switch it off. Hana. Hana, get up, sleepyhead. I know you're awake. I didn't have time to poke my head out before my body slammed to the edge of my mattress, bouncing me up. She jumped from almost halfway across the room. She's a fucking werewolf. (laughs) Ha! You can't hide from my... Sorry. I was breathless, and I paused to calm my heart before speaking again. Is it because it's my... Hey. Hey. It's because it's my turn. Are you worried about what happened yesterday? No one cares about it, Hana. I had almost forgotten about it myself. She must have seen my face. She brought an arm around my shoulders and pulled me close to her. For real, though. We're going to go to class, and no one's even going to mention that you made a huge fool of yourself yesterday. My. My. You are so... You are trying so hard. Is there an undo button? You could have put that better. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It might have been a big scene, but it totally wasn't your fault. It was all Paul, all right? When you jump, you have to calculate your trajectory like I did just now. He could learn a lot from a master like me. Get dressed and cheer up. I could bottle up your gloom and sell it to a wizard. And what if you used it for evil? <laughs> okay, my. You can't let that happen, Hana. No, I'm let the world burn. Her smile was wide enough to bridge the gap between Aww. continents. The beginnings of tears prickled in the back of my eyes, but this time, they are for a different reason. Aww. I opened my closet and tried to avoid looking at the sad lump of clothing inside, slathered and dry- with dried up ice cream. I only had two uniforms, which cost my dad an entire month's salary. If I wasn't able to get the stain out of this uniform, what would I do? Sighing, I took my second uniform off the hanger and slipped it on as my weighed impatiently for me. Ready to go? I guess so. Good! Just as my said, no one paid any special attention to me. Well, there were a few odd looks here and there, but nothing nearly as bad as I was expecting. As the lecture went on, my anxiety for the most part faded. I took staring out the window to avoid eye contact, and a few boys were out on the field playing soccer. Anime. Wait, what's that PPG? Fucking not in class. I scooted closer, trying to get a better look. Hana. At the sound of my name, I leaped to attention. If there's something more interesting outside than samurai death battles, please feel free to enlighten us. You came here to learn, not to contemplate the scenery. What's better than Samurai Death Battles? Uh, PBG, of course. <laughs> with his head, with sweat, with glistening with sweat. Sparkling almost as much as Jared. His hair swooping. Uh, yes, Miss Suzuka, I'm sorry. She turned back chalkboard and continued her lecture as if nothing had happened. A few desks, a few, a few desks in front of me, a guy sitting next to Brill Moose turned around and gave me a flashy thumbs up. I made a face at him, unsure exactly what he expected me to do. Then Ian turned around and shook and socked him in the head. The other guy mumbled something to him, probably apologizing. Ian's eyes slid to me for a brief instant. It's like a gang love triangle. It's a love triangle with gangs. (laughs) I I have no idea what that is. Wait, is that West Side Story? Holy shit. (laughs) This is fucking West Side YouTube story. Where 
they looking at me because of what happened yesterday? Or was it for some other reason? Let's play story. I shook my head. Then there wasn't time for this. I had work to do if I wanted to keep my scholarship. Hmm. After pages and pages of Japanese history, it was nearly time for lunch. Okay, everyone. Oops, okay. Everyone is almost free to go. The work tonight isn't so hard, so don't grumble. You should work together to complete it if you have a hard time. Also, as you may be aware, the Flower Festival is coming up in a week and a half. The news was met with a few cheers as everyone started to pack up. Since you have the day of the festival off, our first exam will be the day before. There were no cheers this time. Romance is wonderful. Believe me, I know. But try not to let the festival distract you, okay? That is all. See you tomorrow. Miss Suzuka flashed, flashed a peace sign and winked as she walked out the door. She flashed us and winked as she locked out the door. <laughs> she is flashed. Here's my tits. Sorry, guys. What a weird teacher. The yeah, she's fucking flashed us. Seductive voice. Ugh, that lecture was so boring. My walk besides me, a tray in her hands. We were shuffling through the cafeteria trying to find a seat. Didn't you say that yesterday? Probably, but it's true for today too. Ugh. Anna, help me. I'm going to die of boredom. We already have work to do. Oops. How did you not hear that? My side dramatically, then leaned... Ugh, fuck, I turned the side, I can't read that I one. know, it's hard to read, right? Uh, my side dramatically, then leaned to the side and rested her hand in the crick of my neck. She fucking is you. <sighs> As I reached up to pat her head a few times, but she strained before <laughs> I could. Oh, God. Hana, Paul's walking over here. He's looking at you. Does he look angry to you? Why is he coming over here? Do you think he's going to kick you again? Please don't kick me! The same Paul who, humili who humiliated me last night strode, o strode towards me. I instinctively backed away, but I kept coming closer. I'm glad I found you. Or I'll fight you, Paul! He didn't look angry at me. In fact, he was giving me an odd, lopsided smile. I wanted to make sure you weren't hurt or anything. You mean after you fucking kicked us? And ruined our ice cream? You ran off before I could properly apologize. I looked down at my feet. It was an embarrassment. It was embarrassing enough that I ran off crying like a little girl. But to know that I made them feel bad was even worse. No, Hana, respect your feelings, girl. If they made you upset, don't feel bad because you didn't stay around with ice cream on your shirt. Treat to yourself. fucking deal with it. Treat yourself like goddess, okay? Treat yourself you like Donna goddess. Noble would treat herself. <laughs> At the same time, the image of my ruined uniform popped into my head. I couldn't tell whether I was more angry or embarrassed, or whether I was feeling something else entirely. Hey, I got you pretty bad, didn't I? I think I ballerinaed too hard. He tilted his head to the side. It's a shame you're not wearing the uniform from yesterday. I liked the pink splot splotches on you. It matched your hair. I already used that line. A deep, sick feeling crawled from my stomach to sit in my throat. My dumb, stupid hair! Everywhere I went, people made fun of it. I thought the No More Boots guys were different, and he was trying to apologize. But how could he say something like that to me? Hannah, I think you're literally the only person in the world that hates having pink She's hair. She's insecure about her hair. Not for the first time, I thought of dyeing it a different color, but quickly dismissed it. Paul was waiting for a response, while well, giving me a quick nod as if warning me not to mess this up. I mustered up my best smile, hoping it was at least convincing. It's okay. Uh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'm more, ha more than happy to pay for the dry cleaning. Josh and Nick and I feel really bad about everything. We've never made a girl cry before. Well... Not by physically injuring her, I guess. Thank you, but I was just going to scrub it in the sink. Dad and I and Nick could never afford things like dry cleaners, so I was surprisingly good at hand-washing things. The thing's going to need more than just hot water and soap, trust me. 
Tell you what, I have a friend who's a natural with that kind of stuff. I'll ask her to get the stain out for you. Just meet me later and bring your uniform, okay? I'll try not to kick you this time. Without giving me time to say yes or no, he nods and turned to leave. How the fuck is she going to find him? He spun around quickly back around. I flinched. Are you and, uh, my, right? Do you guys have a table? The cafeteria is pretty full right now. You can't, you can sit with us if you want, just for today. Sitting with the normal boots club? <gasps> yes! Yes, we'll go. Right, Hana? I, uh, lunch with the normal boots club? Maybe, maybe I really could become friends with them. And no one Aww. would ever bother me again, not about my hair or the ice cream instant. Is this Heather's? Right? Yes, please! Alright, follow me, ladies. He left in the middle of the cafeteria, where the normal boots club sat with the table all to itself. Hey! Oh, fuck, I'm Josh. Hey, you found your... You're Hana, right? I nod, blushing as I took a seat at the edge of the table next to Paul. <laughs> My forced herself between PBG and Dar Jared. Her eyes were only a few sparkles away from becoming huge hearts. She's me. Real subtle, my. So, Hana, we saw that you were upset and were all worried. Are you feeling better? PVG looked at me, clearly concerned. So cute. My heart was being hard against my chest, but I wasn't sure whether it was because I was nervous or because the sad look on his face made me want to give him a hug. I want to romance true. him. I want to romance him. Or maybe it was because I was about two inches away from Paul and... Only an arm lengths away from the other guys. As I tried valently to, valently to open my mouth, whispers spread around the lunchroom. Look at those girls over there. Who do they think they are? How, how come they get to sit with, sit there? I wish Senpai would notice me. I mean, characters get all the luck. Suddenly, my thoughts turned dark. Fucking hell, Hana, you're a main character. Use that shit. You can never die. My, on the other hand, eh. I'm gonna get fucking wrecked. <laughs> Could it be that by getting close to these guys, I was setting myself up as a target instead of gaining protection? My thoughts spun around my head. I was suffocating. PVG was still looking at me, even more worried than before. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks for your concern. Please don't feel bad. It was my fault for getting in the way, and I'm sorry for causing such a scene. I should have controlled myself better. Hana, no! Hana, I love you You were literally not at fault for that at all! Hana, baby! Literally, Paul fucked up! Paul really don't, did fuck up. Don't! I just, I want to give Hana a hug. And tell her, it's okay, She baby. needs to be protected at all costs. She needs to be protected at all costs. I want to see her grow strong and healthy. I hung my head. I wasn't sure how to act around these guys, so I defaulted to extremely polite. My father would have been proud. Hana, don't apologize. It was Paul's fault. Right, Polly? Nick shoved Paul, who looked exasperated. I apologize the best I could, Nick. Give me a break. It was a relief that PBG wasn't staring at me anymore. Almost no one else was paying, oh, was paying me or my any attention. Shane, however, was still shooting me quick, suspicious glances. It was almost like he didn't want me to be there. I felt uncomfortable. You want me to do that one? Cause you can sure. Ah, oh, fuck. I have read. Hey, ha hey, Hana. Do you like it here so far, Hana? Good. How about you? I mean, uh, I like it here. Thank <laughs> you. Same. <laughs> It's like when you buy something at a restaurant and you're like, enjoy your meal. Thanks, you too. And then, actually, I did that one day. Or, like, you just assume what the waiter's going to say. Like, I was at Chick-fil-A because my dad forced mm -hmm. me together. And the, I didn't hear what, like, our server mumbled. And I thought it was, what would you like to drink? Or what would, would, you, what would you like for, like, a side? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, ran stressing, please. And she was just like, I asked what you want to drink. Oh. And I was like, okay, cool. Never going to speak again. Just give me an entire bottle of ranch dressing. <laughs> just give me a bottle of ranch dressing. Just fucking drink it right out of the, with a straw. Gerard, 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 smiled at me, then turned away. I picked up my food. The guys were all wrapped up in their own conversations, and Maya was busy preventing hyper, hyperventilation from being so close to Jared. I can feel 
His body heat. Oh dear. Oh god. You doing okay, Hana? A smiling Satch turned to me. <laughs> Sorry. I know we can be overwhelming. You're fine, right? Uh, yeah, I am. Thank you. Um, thanks for recommending for recommending me that book. By the way, it's been really good. Do you like it? That's great. I figured you would. It's really funny, but the narrator's annoying. He blushes. Yeah, Aww. he can be a bit rude. He pushed up his glasses, then grinned at me. You're pretty quiet. I knew there was more to you. I winced. Sorry, I can be a bit of a wallflower. No need to apologize. I'm sure we've all been wallflowers before. Good, Satch. Tell Hannah that she deserves more. But that reminds me, the flower festival. He turned to the group, addressing them all as if on cue they were all suddenly turned to pay attention to him. Who are you all taking this year? Ooh. Right, the flower festival. They're all gonna Mishizuka fucking- Mishizuka mentioned it before. Who's gonna be our date? They're gonna fucking ask each and every one of- Like, they're all gonna want to take Hana. Who's gonna be our date? Definitely not Paul. Well, I mean, at least- Well, we can only romance some of them. Oh, really? We can romance John, PPG, Jared, um, Gerard, Satch. We can romance Shock. What? <laughs> yeah, we can romance Shock. We can romance Ian from Normal Boots, and then we can base, and then we can only romance Paul from so, uh, Continue. You can turn down John Tron for his fucking bird. <laughs> yeah. If you don't show any interest in the Normal Boots guys, uh, you can date Jacques or Ian. I almost want that to happen. <laughs> I don't want to date the bird. I <laughs> 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 like birds. <laughs> I don't like birds. It's literally like. All right, all right. Right, the flower vessel. I already read this. I'm feeling Satch or PBG. PBG. Okay. Oh, what's the flower festival? No one's explained it to me yet. Hmm. Well, it's basically just a festival. Don't you have those at your old school? We didn't really have festivals in my old school. But they were, or we had to, well, fuck. Huh? We had, <laughs> what's your fucking language? Don't fucking tell me what to do, my. Yeah, I bet my swear is like a fucking sailor. Yeah. Like she walks through the table like, what's up, fuck asses? <laughs> what's up, fuck tards? What's up, bitch? Oh, <laughs> I'm really close to the mic. Well, you just uh, well, scream curse words into a microphone. <laughs> We did have festivals at my old school, but they were basically just 40 kids. Fuck, I can't really sit down. <laughs> Grouped into one room, sharing snacks that they brought from home. Oh, well, we had something kind of like them, but I stopped going. Uh-huh, why not? They sound so fun. I didn't really want to answer. There is no way I could say, well, Aww. my friends turned on me, so when I went, they, people pretend I didn't exist. Oh, Hana, no wonder why she's constantly like, oh, it's my fault. Oh, no. Hana. Look at how a side ponytail. I'm emotionally invested now. But my was waiting for an answer, and everyone was looking at me. I'm just, uh, not into that stuff, I guess. Oh, well, maybe you'll like this one more. The flower festival happens all over Japan around this time of year. But it's a big deal in... Mm, Higambana. Okay, I'm reading sideways, too, so I was <laughs> like, hoge, ho hoagie. <laughs> a great, a big deal in Hagaban. That's the town right next to Osako. Hagibana. Hagibana. <laughs> Hasbro. <laughs> 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 There's apparently some kind of myth about flowers that's somehow important. Supposedly, the founder of Hagabana was an old man who got lost in the mountains and almost died. Why are you dangling <laughs> fabric in front of my face? I'm you had the same reaction as your cat. <laughs> I'm not going to fucking bat at it. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't tempt me. Died of thirst. Hey, he's you. Died of thirst. Shut up. <laughs> this flower spirit came to him and offered him help in return for his vow to protect her home. He agreed, 
And she drained herself of all her water so he could drink. So he ate her out. Thirsty. <laughs> this man found Kagabana to watch over the meadow in which he met the woman. In some versions of the myth, the man and the flower spirit fell in love. This is literally just all you. It's truly a romantic festival. One may hope to find someone with which to make a vow of eternal love, just as the man and the spirit did, and to live on to protect the one they love. So we're gonna go fight aliens. Hey, my Jared was right. winked my swoon. <laughs> okay, if you don't date Jared, can my date Jared? I don't know. Fuck. In the one place I watched, I kind of got far into this. They're dating Jared because pro Jared's the farthest in it, and he's like, <laughs> yeah. "I'm dating myself." Bitches. No wonder pro Jared's the farthest in it. He's <laughs> yeah. pro Jared. Actually, the completionist should be the farthest in it. Okay, you know, yeah. So, during the day of the flower festival, there's a lot of stalls set up. And why is your jaw so deep? I don't know. Okay, would you prefer if I did it up here? There's a lot of uh, stalls set up, and you can go and play some games and eat food and go on the flower viewing. Then at night, there's a special meadow over by the temple where you can go watch the flowers. And there's bonfire and dancing. It's a lot of fun. We look forward to it every year. Do you want me to do John's? Do you also do Jacques? Sure. Okay. Asago. Asago. Asago sells paper. Asiago. Asiago. Asiago sells paper flowers. In little booths to raise money for the school, too. It's usually a big volunteer drive beforehand with people who are good at origami. Wait. Okay, first of all, I thought that's an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, is, is, it, is it fucking Asiago Academy and Hasbro Japan? <laughs> <laughs> it Title is, for this video? It is. Oh, like 1 a.m. <laughs> Excuse me, it's only 12.31. I held my phone up to the microphone. Wait. <laughs> Siri, what time is it? Time to eat for you to eat It's 12.31 a.m. There we go. Fucking rude. Origami? I'm good at origami. <laughs> no, boys <laughs> nibbling <Nibling> second. <laughs> <laughs> really? Shane has two. Maybe you should work together. Wink, wonk. Shh. Oh, what the fuck? What did I do? <laughs> oh, I screenshot it. Fuck. You fucking screenshot of the angsty anime. Oh, <laughs> what did I do? Ooh. <laughs> Oh, you have you have to try control F. If not, you have to go to the options. Oh fuck. 